and police officers in Vihiga County are under investigation following a wave of cases that have been reported in the recent, in the recent past. Over 10 murder cases have been reported targeting border border operators and businessmen in the county. Government's deputy spokesperson Moisha Chidzuja, Chidzuda has issued a stern warning to those involved in the unlawful practices. The government has issued a stern warning to a section of police officers in Vihiga County who are allegedly colluding with criminals to fuel crime in the county. It is reported that in the recent past, over 10 people have been murdered, with most victims being border border operators and business persons. <laughs> Speaking in a meeting in Vihiga County, the government deputy spokesperson Monaisha Chizuga said that it is not going to be a business as usual for police officers who allegedly engage themselves in criminal activity, adding they shall not only lose their job but shall face full force of the law. <laughs> Na wamesema wataka uhusika na uhalifu hakuna kupigwa transfer wanafutwa kazi na kupigwa kwa koti. Kwa vile amri yake ya kwamba maafisa watahamishwa, wale maafisa wa usalama walio hapo wanaofikiria kwamba mimi nitekeleza uhalifu nitapigwa transfer nipeleke mgonjwa kwa ni kwingine tunawaambia pole sana. Unafutwa kazi mara this comes as the backdrop of complaints from the group known as Usiku Sako, who are accused to be behind a series of insecurity and are being protected by some police officers. The Interior Cabinet Secretary, Professor Kithuri Kindiki, continues to emphasize us on the government security policy that all police officers who have served for more than three years in one station must be transferred to eliminate conflicts of interest and enhance service delivery in the security sector. All officers who have stayed for more than three years must leave. And that is not a request. It is not a human resource matter. It is a national security matter. They must leave without exception. I have directed the county security team to make sure they collect data. And the problem of, of a state officers is not at the senior command level. It's mostly at the junior level. And those officers must go to other parts of the country. The residents now have been urged to collaborate with the government and report any emerging cases of insecurity in the area. Akidakasim KU TV.